Hey guys, welcome back to the Smalls RV Adventures. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Ricky, and I travel around with my family and my dog in an RV, in an SUV. We tent camp, RV camp, SUV camp all over the country. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you know when we upload regular content. Hit the like button and also comment below of anything you like in this video. We surely do love traveling and taking care of tasks along our way. Right now, I'm by myself to take care of some tasks. Sometimes these side shots are the best where you can see behind me. I like showing this a lot. Right now, I'm on my way to the post office because I have to pick up some packages and I gotta drop some things off. So here I go on this nice sunny day. It was raining for a very, very long time, maybe two or three straight days where we weren't able to come out and really do much. I mean, it made a great time to do like a lot of rain camping videos, but we've done a lot of those lately. So I didn't feel like doing more of those just because we had so many, but it's nice now. It's gonna be 80 degrees today. I have on my slides. I think they're uh, Under Armour slides. It's great. Look at this baby there just walking along here now it's running i have one of these 90 second rice packs that you can put in the microwave but i'm thinking about putting it in a pan and having rice and eggs for dinner i'm thinking about it and that's a quick and easy meal i'm thinking if i put it in a pan i can have it done within like maybe five minutes doesn't take that long to scramble an egg with the rice the rice is ready made. This Mahdi rice, I think, is called. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry about that. But it uh, it looks really good and looks promising. I have some seasoning in the back, so I may do that. But that's gonna come tonight, right before dinner. Here I go into the post office. All right, I'm back on the road. I'm gonna go to my little walking spot to get my steps in for the day go for a little hike with my sandals on where they're from under armor they're very comfortable i wear these and i wear an another pair of nikes like slippers but those are like strap-ons too but i'm walking on like a smooth surface there's not like rough terrain or anything like that it's just like walking on pavement so that's why i wear my sandals to stay comfortable while i get my steps in camping I just love looking at that and it puts me in a nice spirit just the whole entire area just puts me in a nice spirit I love it but I'm almost to where I'm gonna do my walking so we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back on later on just so that you guys can see me cooking the scrambled eggs with the basmati a basmati rice but that come, that's going to come later tonight. I'm going to keep you guys with me all day, even for my little walking journey. I have to get my 10,000 steps in, so I'm going to try my best to get those in. I don't know how many steps I'll be able to get in, but I'm going to try to get close to the 10,000. I've been doing it uh, a lot recently. It's only some days I was not getting the 10,000. I'll get to like 7,000 or 8,000, but most days I've been getting 10,000 and above. So I'm gonna try to get the 10,000 today. I've been walking around all this morning and I forgot to put on my watch because I put a ticket off to charge it. But I have it back on now and I'm gonna start my 10,000 from scratch, even though when I hit the 10,000, it's gonna be more than 10,000. So let's go on this walking journey. Right, let me get everything I need while I'm here. 
everything is full in my fridge but one thing i learned is that you want to have your eggs and whatever you're going to use at the top of your fridge because everything will freeze I also want to have my cooktop and everything ready to go. Got my cord, my extension, and I'm going to put everything on my table down here to get everything to go when I'm ready to cook. But let's go for the walk now. Look how beautiful it is here. Get my steps in, walking through these trees, walking through the grass, enjoying the nice scenery. That's what I love. It's always great things to see when you're going on your walks. Sometimes you see people playing soccer, baseball, depending where you are when you're walking around here. You know, things happen all times during the day over here. And that's what I like the most. There's always something to see, something to watch. Sometimes as you're running around, you can actually watch a lot of the games being played. So it's really nice. Oh, look what I found, a nice picnic bench to sit down and relax. There's water right behind me too. I was gonna go sit down, then I remembered I'm trying to get my steps in to get over that 10,000 mark. And I don't know why I'm walking in the grass. There's a footpath that I could be walking on to get my steps. I could be walking in ants and whatever, but let me uh, get on the footpath. Thank God that, you know, everything dried out from the rain that we had. I'm looking down at my feet just to see if my socks got wet. Let's check it out. Luckily, I didn't, uh, the grass wasn't wet. I would have felt it on my toes, but I didn't feel anything, which is a good part. I have everything set up in the car so when I get back later, I can do my little cooking. Oh man, I forgot to leave out the rice. It's all right though. I think I have it in the middle of the, uh, of the car. So when I go back a little bit later, I'll put that with the rest of the stuff so that it doesn't take me that much time to cook. I don't wanna keep you guys all day on here because I typically eat about twice a day but uh, sometimes I eat like once a day. It just depends on what I'm doing. So when I get up in the morning, if I'm not traveling, I try to get something to eat because I know I'm not gonna eat for like nearly the rest of the day or to later that evening. So I always try to start off my day with a little something to eat. Sometimes it's easier to eat. I don't eat, like eating much outside food. Most of the time I pre-pack my food and I heat it up as I'm on the road. Sometimes I uh, cook some of these pre-made packages. I'll show you those when we get back to the car. They're really good. I went over to Audi and picked up a lot of those. And those things, all you have to do is heat them. They're frozen and they come in these little bags. And all you do is heat it up and it, it works and it, it makes food really nice. You mix it with some rice or a little piece of wheat bread and it's good to go. Whew, it is hot out here. Ah, uh, look what I found. Some nice refreshing breeze from the water. I love coming over here, especially to cook or uh, whatever you're doing because you get this nice breeze coming off this water. Oh, it feels so nice. I really like it. That's why I'm smiling. I don't want to stop too long down here by the water because I can stay down there all day. I should have actually parked the car over here. This is a nice place to, to park your car and just hang out for the day. And then I usually go stealth park next to some other areas where there's a lot of other cars. During the day when you're over here, no one really bothers you. But at night, you can't leave your car there. You stick out like a sore thumb. So I usually like park over where there's other union workers and nobody bothers you. But that's something about city stealth camping. People living in cities know all about it. I hear some people 
coming over to the East Coast, they get really stressed out because of the parking situation here because they don't know where to park. There's plenty, plenty of parking all over the place. Most of the time, if you find 24 hour workplaces, those are the places where you wanna park next to bus stations, bus depots, union workers. A lot of these things are 24 hours and the parking is right on a public street. So you can blend right in with a lot of the union workers and nobody will know. And even if they do though, they usually don't say anything. I'm huffing now because I just walked over some grass. It was like an uphill slope with grass. But I'm okay now. Ooh. I'm gonna get those steps in. I'll tell you that now. I missed about a 1,000 or 2,000 steps this morning, but I'm gonna get those steps in here. Look, they got garbage around the path. Throw your water out. Remember, you always gotta stay hydrated when you're doing these kind of walks. Mm. Gotta stay hydrated. Mm -mm -mm. I was calling this basmati rice, but it's jasmine rice, 90 seconds. So I'm gonna cook that with the egg tonight. All right, I just finished that long workout. I'm over 10,000 steps and I'm gonna get cooking really fast on my induction cooktop. I'm gonna let you guys see it real quick. So here's how my induction cooktop looks. I have everything I need. I'm gonna start cooking up right now. So I have the induction going on at 425 Fahrenheit. I'm in a parking lot, so don't mind me. 425. Oh, man. People probably gonna be looking at me like I'm weird. Like, what the heck is he doing? I'm over 11,000 steps today. 11,000. I'm hoping this cooks really fast so I can get inside the AC because it is burning hot out here. So I'm hoping this thing heats up fast. Start melting right away, so you gotta have your stuff ready. Me, I just cracked the egg, put it right in there. Can't use one hand, so I'm gonna have to show you with two hands. Again, that's how it looks. I got the two eggs in there. I'm gonna stir this bad boy up real quick. Throw some seasoning in there. And put whatever you have, whatever you have. Put a little parsley flake in there. Everybody love a little bit of black pepper. A little black pepper in there. I never cook with that much salt, but it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and work with what you have. And this is what I have. So once it finishes, I hit the pause, clear button. It turns off the induction stove top. Got my food in the bowl, I'ma cover it up. I almost forgot to add my cheese, man like to clean everything out while I'm here. You can also test how hot it is when I put it away. It's not very hot. Same with the induction. I like to wipe it off and you can still feel if it's hot or not. The bottom is usually not hot. I let that finish cooling right up there and I'm gonna go chow down on some food. Oh, thank God I get to sit down, put on the air conditioner because it is a hot one out there, I tell you that. Sorry, I was so close to the uh, the screen there, but it is so hot out there. You'll probably be able to see me a little bit better. Oh, I'm inside. Now let me enjoy this food, hold on one second. So take a look at that, that's egg and rice. This is that jasmine rice from Aldi with egg and some cheddar cheese melted on top. Ooh, can't wait to try this. All right, let's dig in. We'll let you guys see it, put some egg on there. Oh my God, look at the cheese hanging from there. Let's taste it. Mm, not bad, not bad at all. I could have put a little more seasoning in it, but I didn't want to over season it. It was the first time I'm cooking on the induction stove top. Mmm. Really like it. 
cheese gives it like a nice bling. I was hungry too. Let's see if I cut that light out, you'll be able to see me a little bit more. That's a little bit better. Wow. I'll definitely buy some more of that rice. You just have to doctor it up a little bit. I was looking at some reviews of it because I was kind of scared. Some people had it had a, like a funny taste. This one is really good. Just added some egg to it. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of onion powder. What else I added to it? Some pepper. I think that was it. I have some more seasoning back there, but people were driving by looking in. <laughs> All right, look at this crazy man eating his food. Where did I leave my water? Oh, here it is. It's my water right there. You know, it was funny. I was rushing, and I left my coffee in the car when I went for my walk earlier. Just totally left my coffee. I remember when I was already on my hike, dropping food all over me. I was planning on cooking inside of the car, just to prevent all the eyes from looking, but I forgot to pack my table. But next time I'll pack my table, because that was easy enough. I forgot to cut off my inverter. See that green light? As easy as that and cut off the inverter that's the 4,000 watt inverter I was using but I had this thing on the 900 watt setting and it cooks beautifully my battery still that still at a hundred percent didn't even look like it went down a little bit there was no beeping for overcharging work really good now, this is a lot of food in here I'll probably save some of this for later mm, look at that again it's really good yeah it's the first time I used that induction cooktop and I must say I really enjoyed losing it. It heats up really fast. When I first put it on, I forgot. You have to press the start button for it to start heating up. And I forgot to press the start button. So once I hit that start button, it started cooking. Sort of little spread I put in it started melting really fast. But the funny thing is, is when you <laughs> cooking out of your car is not normal. So when people are driving by, they're looking like, "What the hell is going on over there?" They're looking in. And most times, I try to prepare your food if you have to get out of the car, even in a camp spot. Or somewhere where you're not going to be seen too much. Because people love to look. Mm. This is really good. Really, really good. Oh, wow. This is nice and full, and too. Probably keep you guys on here the whole time. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to finish this and I'll be back to say goodbye. Man, that was really, really good. I finished that off real quick. Wash it down with some nice ice cold water. Still got ice in it. This was in my freezer. And then I put it in my refrigerator. That's all in the back there. And I started cooking with it. It was funny. I was telling people at work <laughs> when I have some time, this is what I was going to do. They were looking at me like, you got what in your car? 
Yeah, I got every, you got everything in here. You know, you have beds, everything. These SUVs, boy, you can do so much with them. But I'm going to let you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a great time going on my hike. Went over 11,000 steps. I'm happy about that. Had me a nice dinner. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. Remember, if you stuck around this long, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. Comment below. I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in.